Uh, our next speaker is Hage Yapa from SourceBits, everybody. So Yapa has, uh, he's actually contributed code towards Express. He has a book that he's written on Express. For, what's that? Express Web Application Development. Express Web Application Development. So he's a published author. Ooh. Uh, and, he, and he works, and he works as an architect at SourceBits right now. Um, so that's a, so originally I think he wanted to talk about Express, but uh, he wants to do something a little more in theme with the, uh, with the, with the actual event and uh, he'll tell you about that right now. Yep. Sure. Sure. Am I audible? All right, cool. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this GIF animation, you know. You can see this uh, cat playing a guitar. So, you know, he, uh, a music must be playing in your head, you know. Oh, yeah, I can hear something. So, the same thing happened to me and uh, I took it as a challenge. So, uh, my talk is, is, is uh, named GIF Images, now it's sound. All right. So, that's me. And I was talking about the challenge. And the challenge was to add sound to GIF animations. It was accepted and accomplished. And that's what I'm going to show you guys here. So. Uh, right now, we don't have any sound here. I will show you the version where it's got a sound. And it is this one. Just a little bit. All right. Yeah. And it's a loop one and on. And uh, let's take a look at the source code. Where is the where's the audio? Oops. In the meantime, I think you guys can try to figure out how this might be working. You just have a GIF image, and uh, there is a sound playing out of it. It's crazy. Let's see. Let's find out. All right. Okay, so this is the source code, source code again. Then you see that, you know, uh, we are doing this IMG as our C, there's Johnny the GIF, and uh, you, s you see something which is a little uncommon, data, audio, volume 0.1, auto play, and loop. There is no evidence of any sound image here, and uh, we can even, um, oh, oh, so sorry, I, I really need to do that. There you go. And this, this is a source code of this thing, which is Go, Johnny, go, go. How does it work? Johnny, be go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Okay, so you know, uh, the implementation is actually very simple. If I show you how it was done, you would know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way it works. So. Uh, oh no, in the browser. So 
sort of demo with that. Okay. Um, I created a library out of this. It's called Talking Image. But if I show you the source code of Talking Image, you know, uh, it's all optimized and, you know, it may seem a little complicated. So I'm going to show you the code which I started with. That, you know, it's very simple, very raw, very hacky. I think you guys would be able to follow it much better. So let's go back to source code. And, uh, this is it. Doing the general, uh, the window that onload, then, uh, I, I, I get the URL of the, of the, uh, the thing called holder, where we have the SRC, which, uh, the, you know, it's basically the URL of the image, which has got an audio embedded in it. Okay? Uh, in a little while, I'll show you how to embed audio to, uh, to an image. So, I think, you know, uh, I'm going to show you how to embed uh, audio to an image right now. That's really good. How, how, how much time do you have? So this is one image, and this is the MP3 which I like to embed to it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is that I'll copy both of them. This is actually from uh, from the talking image repository, so I don't want to spoil it. So let me put it here. So this is my hang lab. So, we have Johnny the GIF and Johnny the MP3. The way to embed audio to that image is very, very simple. Okay, you just read it, read the uh, Johnny the MP3. Okay, append it to Johnny the GIF. You know what? Now, uh, you can see the file size here of Johnny the GIF. You know, it's changed a little bit. Uh, the MP3 has been appended to it. Now, if you if you load this uh, GIF in your browser using uh, Talking Image, the MP3 embedded in it would be played. So th this is how you append uh, uh, audio to an image. And uh, going back to the to to the extraction. So, uh, that's how we attach audio. Now, going back to extraction. Now, you know, we can uh, very easily work with uh, binary data in the browser uh, using uh, array buffer, right? array buffer, you know, few things which you see below. And then, uh, this, this might may not be, you know, that handy to work with. So, uh, someone came, came up with the, JavaScript library called JBinary to make it easier, which I'm using. So using JBinary, we, we load a, uh, an image which is located in the URL, and the binary data comes, comes here, and we loop through the data and look for the mp3 tag. And we know that from, uh, from that location onwards, that's the mp3 tag. And the thing is that we could be using org uh, uh, files also. So, we are detecting org files as well. You know, whatever is present there. And then, uh, we extract the, 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 the sound component of the, the file which was uh, downloaded. And we create an audio element. And then, we uh, base64 encode the binary. Uh, set some attributes and uh, append it to the, uh, the the body, and then we just play it. That's how it works. Very simple. Thank you.
Okay, so this is a URL where you can find the, the talking image library. So, we have, this might look like a title f uh, for an upcoming movie, but it's something about the talking image and, you know, the things related with it. The good, the bad, the sad, the ugly, and the best. The good part is that now you can add uh, sound snippets to your images and, uh, and you know, you, you can show it as uh, something that is cool. The bad, the bad part is that if people really start using this, it can get abused. You know, like uh, you go to some website, you know, something is playing. If you're new, you don't know what to do. In, uh, in case of a uh, talking image, you just have to click on an image. But uh, if someone uses this technique to randomly start playing audio, I think it's, it's going to become very, very irritating. That's the bad part. The sad part is that. Firefox refuses to play Chris, which image uh, this uh, audio? I think it, yeah. Yeah, right. So, unfortunately, Firefox, <laughs> Firefox won't play MP3 audio. So, you know, if, if you give Firefox OK, well and good, it will play. And, Safari will refuse to play. So, uh, uh, you know, you have this problem, you have to come up with something to uh, make it easier. Maybe create two versions, I don't know, maybe you guys could come up with something. Fortunately, Chrome is really cool, plays a lot of them. <laughs> right. So, the best part is not this. Guys, listen, the best part is not talking image. The best part is the idea that you can create a container file extension of your own. It could be anything. It could be, you know, uh, something.blr. What the hell is blr? Okay, you load it and you have defined yourself what would be there in the blr file. You know, it could be image. Uh, there could be some sound component. There could even be JavaScript, CSS. You load it, and then, you know, uh, you see that nothing is loaded except some BLR file. And how the hell is, is this crazy thing coming up with an image, some sound, some, you know, crazy JavaScript, and some, maybe even uh, HTML. How does it happen? So, basically, that's the idea. Like, uh, it's about working with binary data in the browser. You can create your own file extension and your own file types. So, I think that's the best part. And I hope that, you know, you guys uh, do some interesting uh, things and share it with me. So, I would really say, actually, that is the best part. You know, the idea is the best part, not the library. So, that's me again, in case. And, uh, as I was working on uh, uh, talking image, I, uh, I came upon an uh, image which I found it was really hilarious. And uh, I think it's, it would be an interesting exercise for you guys to embed a sound to it. And please share it with me. What the hell is going on, man? So, that's what it. Thank you. Uh, what happens if the sound is, uh, so, uh, length of the sound is like different from the length of the video animation? Well, well, well. In your library, if, if your, uh, the length of the sound file, mm -hmm. it's like if, if it's playing for like two minutes. Okay. And your animation is only for like 20 seconds. Right, right. So, you know, uh, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Okay. And I would not recommend that you use a big, uh, audio, audio file for that. You know, uh, short sound snippets or, you know, just move it around. Okay, wait, 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 guys, I'll show you something. You, you know, you know, uh, this, uh, the best way to do it, I uh, will show you. Yeah. This is an example of the best use case. Go on and on.
Now you don't have to load it with YouTube Media. Hey, hi. Hey, man. Uh, suppose uh, in zip uh, file, I have made my JavaScript CSS and loaded and, and execute some means in browsers, some code. Will that code be discoverable in um, developer tool like inspect on like okay, inspect okay. If, if if you load just the image, you cannot see it. But uh, uh, in in the developer tool, we have the rendered view. Then you will be able to see it. Thank you. Since you call yourself Hacksparrow, I want every next question to start with the word captain. <laughs> Right. Yes. Uh, cat. All right. So uh, now, like we use sprites or something, right? So if I have a bunch of images, I put them together in a sprite, and yeah, yeah. I can have my CSS sprites and everything put together. Now, how fast is this thing? So what if I could put all of my data together and you know load it all with a single network request and then break right. it at my will? So you think it's advisable or? Um, you know, it really depends. You know how big it is. So. If the file size is, uh, you know, relatively large, uh -huh. uh, initially you might see a little delay, you know, because you're extracting the binary and, and coding. The basic support, of course. Uh, there is a slight, uh, you know, a little bit of delay, but uh, after that, you know, I really don't see any delay. Okay, and are there, would there be any security issues or something? Yes, you, you know what, uh, actually in the bad part, actually I forgot. You can. You can really, you know, because uh, you may say that uh, your browser may say something that funny that exe, uh, you know, it's not allowed. You know, maybe you know that, uh, there is some you know security system which says you know exe file is not allowed. But you know, you would embed the exe file in the zip or whatever image, uh, and then you load it, and using this thing you extract that the the that component and using. Uh, the uh, the data URL. I think you could. I think I haven't tried it yet, but you could prompt the users to download it. You know, you are recreating the binary in the browser and asking them, "Would you like to download this?" So you know, I think the possibilities are really endless. You could do many things. Awesome. We have time for one last question. Anyone? Okay, all right, then big round of applause to Hage Yapa. He's the reason we do JS food. Love your talk.